Working from home is great for a lot of people because they get to spend more time with their family, their kids or their pets, said Brian Peters. Now that you're home due to lockdown, how much time are you really spending with your family? And how much are you on your work? Do you feel stressed out despite not having a commute? There are both physical and psychological implications. And in this video, I will be sharing with you a few tips in how you can balance them so that you can stay sane while working from home. Let's get started. In physics, there is a word called hysteresis, which describes a particular phenomenon. These days, economists are using that term to describe the global economy. When conditions change in any situation, the effects of that change continues to remain even after the conditions return to normal. Remote working or working from home is one such condition. How is working from home affecting you? Are you feeling stressed out despite not having to commute? Are you battling the feelings of isolation and anxiety? The most important element in remote working is our ability to create that balance. And this is what you can do for it. One, work on creating boundaries, both time and space. You will need to create a time limit on when you will be working and when not to work. Designate an area in your house where you will not be disturbed all the time, all the time and treat that as an office space. And just like how you would in an actual office, have a start and an end time. You can also create a boundary between how many virtual meetings you can have and when you will do the actual work. Creating boundaries is very important so that you don't feel overwhelmed with the tasks in hand. Two, work on communicating effectively to your colleagues as well as to your family. Companies have already established certain ground rules for remote working. Understand them to communicate clearly. This becomes very important so that your time and energy is not wasted in clarifying it. Same thing goes for your family. You could be physically at home but not really giving the time and attention your family needs from you. Just like how you would with your office colleagues, communicate clearly on when you will be available for them and set that expectation. Three, create accountability. There are many distractions at home, more so if you have a cute tack like this. To increase your productivity, you need to create accountability. Once you set your boundaries, you can block off your calendar with specific tasks like calendar blocking. Schedule your calls at those weak times when you're most susceptible for distractions, such as post-lunch. I schedule my calls during the beginning of the day and I take it from my desk. I make sure all my household work is done before I take that call. And it's so much easier to continue to do other tasks after that call. If calendar blocking and scheduling is too organized for you, then you can choose an accountability partner or a buddy to help you with this. Four, commit to taking breaks. Lunch break at lunch time is very important. The same thing goes for coffee and tea breaks. You will need to eat nutritious food to nourish your body. You will need physical activity and exercise to keep your body active. If you're deprived of sleep, then take a 10 minute siesta break. Taking a physical break will help your brain to re-energize. You'll be way more productive and a lot more satisfied with your output. Five, manage your mind, both emotions and feelings. The key to working remotely is managing your mind. You could feel lonely, demotivated or anxious, not to mention the screen fatigue you could face. It's important that you recognize it and create a safe space to release them. Reach out to someone you trust, speak to a friend or a coach if you're struggling with anxious feelings. You're not alone and remember, tomorrow is always a fresh start. So there you are, those are the five tips I have for you to create a balance and stay sane when working from home. Remote working requires you to wear multiple hats throughout the day. Skills such as time management, self-motivation, effective communication, technology and mindfulness skills will help you create this much needed balance. If you're still struggling to cope, do reach out to us. You can drop us a message in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video resourceful, do not forget to give it a like button and share it with your friends. And I'll see you next week. Until then, take good care of yourself. Bye.